Hi everybody, this is Believe What, also known as Yam Juice, and I've got part two of my conversation with Walmart Clown. We're talking about, again, Ego. Now we're playing Bare Bones TDM on Villa, and on Bare Bones there's no kill streaks, attachments, or perks. Ken went 19 and 10, and I went 18 and 4. Well, uh, so so why is it that uh, that a friend or a loved one is so important to a person that you might be willing to to you know risk yourself for them? Okay, it's human nature. It's human nature. Well, yep. I actually contend that it all because every culture has it. Every culture, even those people who are jumping off the cliffs, have that. Right. Well, I, I contend that the most fundamental aspect of human nature is, in fact, ego. And that you, your loved ones, you love them because they make you feel a certain kind of way. And it's like the world is a certain kind of way with them in it. And if you didn't have them in it... Hang on a second. I'm... <laughs> I'm actually doing a, a little recording thing here, so if you could, yeah, you can do the laundry. You just don't uh, don't be hollering. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll have to edit this out here. This occurred at minute thirteen. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Chop chop. <laughs> this is probably going to be a, a, a either a long commentary or I might milk this one, Ken, for yeah, yeah. for a couple of episodes. Yeah, you can edit it. So I, I, again, I don't equate that to e ego. To me, is where you want to. Um, my ego won't let me. Um, I have to when I play Call of Duty. I have to win. That that to me is ego. Um, okay. Okay. Well, you want your. I think I. I think by human nature, again, uh, uh, we we feel good. A lot of times when we when we do that protection when we do that things, but I don't. I think there's a lot of people who feel that that aren't, in my opinion, egotistical. No, when I say ego, I'm not at all talking about egotism, uh, where a person is you know just like self-interested above all else. When right. I, when that's I, ego. Is. Yeah. Well, I mean that's one that's one way to look at ego. That's uh, that's one manifestation of ego, but it's. I'm talking more like the kind of like the Freud ego, like the uh, the knowledge of self and the way you look at yourself. I mean, um, you want to feel like you're a good guy. You want to feel like you're a good person. And yeah. I think human nature dictates that almost everybody probably thinks that they're a good person. I mean, there's there's supreme assholes in this world. I mean, there's horrible, horrible people in this world, but you know through whatever kind of twisted logic that people will will come up with in their own minds they're still a good person <laughs> I mean so the definition is a uh, people's sense of self-esteem <coughs> yeah yeah well that's that's kinda what I'm sort of getting at your own self-esteem you know how you how you view yourself I mean if uh, if everybody that you care about you know, suddenly shunned you and thought you were, you know, th thought you were a rat and didn't want to have anything to do with you. You'd be, you know, that would be terrible. I mean, that'd be just about as bad a thing that that could happen. I mean, uh, probably what I'm saying is that due to the fact that we always have to protect our ego, if that even did happen, a person would probably be broken up for a little while over it. But then miraculously they would probably figure out a way to rationalize that like well I don't even need those people anyway you know those people don't understand you know they've got me all wrong so you know what it's you know it's tough that uh, you know that they feel that way but you know I'm hang on a second and when I say you know if I could please have some quiet if you Stomping around, that's one thing, but hollering about the cat. Just give me a little while. See, I got that bitch trained. <laughs> so is that your ego? <laughs> yeah, that is my ego. <laughs> now, uh, us us players, uh, you know, we're, we're in sub one. We're, you know, we are not 
kick ass Call of Duty players. I mean, we know that. And if at a lower level, we are. I mean, <laughs> well, that's one reason why we like to play these little private matches is because because uh, you have a chance to you know to do better than you normally do. Get back on camera, Ken. We want to see your pretty face here. Yeah. Anyhow, so so you know, even though that this is a, a a group of people that are not that great, we still like playing. I, you know, if I get yeah. killed a lot, I mean, I don't like getting killed a lot. But I like I like shooting guys. It's like if I go 17, you know, and 27, it's like. I'm not going to be focused real hard on the 27 times I got killed. I'm going to be thinking about how cool it was those 17 times that I killed the guy. So, you know, if I, if I was rational about it, I'd think, well, damn, I got killed 10 more times than I killed, so I should I should quit this game. <laughs> I, I play for the endorphin like released. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a... Like, oh, to kill that person, there's like a, it's like, oh yes, that was sweet. And yeah. Well, there has to be something s specific to yeah, game. The ego those. makes me go back and try to kill the guy that just killed him. See, that's true. That's true. You know, if if you got killed, you're gonna go f get that guy, especially if he's camping and you know where to find him. Yeah. Then you. Because I know all the good camping spots. By the way. <laughs> you yeah. do. You do. You're uh, you're <laughs> exceptional at that. <laughs> I'm a camping kill whore, but I just uh, suck at it really bad. Right, but what do you think what makes people play like a... Okay, you could be playing any kind of video game. You could be playing a, an adventure game. You could be playing a role-playing thing, you know. Uh, but, you know, you're playing a shooter. A shooter. What is, what is it about a game like Call of Duty where you're blasting people that is so addictive to certain certain folks? And I'm one of them. What do you think? I, I, I still think, and I mean, just based on a study that I read, it's, uh, it's the chemical release that you get for the next level for killing somebody. Yep. So you crave that. It's an addiction. Well, sure it is. But you know, you could be playing, uh, you know, you could be playing Mario, and uh, you know, you get, you know, you you clear levels and you you you, yep. you get that's the reward. Bonuses. You clear that level, right? Yeah. You, you beat. That. You beat that boss. You did whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we're not playing Mario. We're we're like running around with with uh, with fucking guns and grenades. <laughs> with a lot of angry people. That's it. That's <laughs> it. So. Uh, virtually angry. Virtually angry. I don't know. I think what it is is uh, there's a, a desire to uh, to kind of run so somewhere in our minds. There's a desire to kind of run amok, shooting people like you know. A <laughs> <laughs> like one of these maniac serial killers, there's some tiny little portion of us that would that would want to do that, you know. Huh? And you don't get to do that. We're not going to do that. I mean, that's just not going to happen. We're not even going to entertain a, a thought coherently of that. But we can pop in our game and grab our controller and do the same exact thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, the rush that we get may not be as visceral as the schoolyard killer, but at least we get to play again the next night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Uh, because of uh, the scores, uh, Walmart and Ike pretty much carried this team to victory. So now, uh, if you missed the uh, previous conversation that I had with Walmart, I'm going to post that on the uh, left side of the screen. You can click that. And then on the right is my video there I talked about mechanically separated chicken, the grossest thing you ever heard of. And of course, you can click the subscribe button so you don't have to miss an episode. So for Believe What, this is Yam Juice. Thanks for watching.